Hello and welcome to today's Mono Lake Moment. I'm Nora Livingston, the lead naturalist guide of the Mono Lake Committee. And I'm here today to bring you a Mono Lake Moment about the Los Angeles Aqueduct, which has had a huge impact on Mono Lake. And it's a great thing to know the pathway of the aqueduct. So we're gonna start here at mile zero, the Levining Diversion Dam, which is just over here to my right. We'll take you right up into the diversion in a moment. But first, I just wanna explain how the aqueduct works and the history of how it came to be in the Mono Basin, very briefly. So in the early 1900s, Developers from Los Angeles and engineers started coming up to the Owens Valley and the Mono Basin to acquire water rights, to build an aqueduct, to bring water from these pristine mountain streams to the city of Los Angeles, which at that time was growing almost exponentially. So in 1941, after they built all the aqueduct infrastructure, they started diverting water from four of the five Mono Basin streams that feed into Mono Lake. And I have a little map here of what those streams are. So we are standing right here at, on Levining Creek. So Levining Creek naturally flows into Mono Lake and the aqueduct diversion dam is right here. So we're standing here at mile zero, the beginning of a 338 mile aqueduct that ends in Asilomar, the a town in Los Angeles and the water flows into an aqueduct conduit that then passes through Walker Creek where there's another diversion dam and Parker Creek where there's another diversion dam before sending that water into Grant Lake Reservoir which is a man-made reservoir that captures water from Rush Creek which is the largest tributary to Mono Lake before sending it down through the aqueduct, which actually goes through the Mono Craters, which are dormant plug dome volcanoes. So that was a pretty gutsy feat of engineering to dig an 11 mile tunnel through craters with steam vents and gas bubbles and all sorts of dangers. They made it safely. And then the lake, or excuse me, the aqueduct flows all the way down into the Owens River into a few other little reservoirs and then down to Los Angeles. It flows completely by gravity, which is actually an amazing feat of engineering for the time that it was being built in the early 1900s. And so this aqueduct, though, you know, it started as this grand idea to bring all this water to Los Angeles, what the engineers didn't realize or didn't really care about at the time uh, was the environmental impact of diverting this water from the Mono Basin and not allowing the water to flow down the creeks naturally and into Mono Lake. So when the diversion started in 1941, the, the streams dried up below the dams and the lake started to drop. It dropped about 45 vertical feet over 20 or so years. And when <clears throat> these creeks dried up, so for instance, below this, this dam that we're about to see, the creeks dried up, it destroyed the riparian habitat. Oh, we have red crossbills flying over right now. I can hear them going, kip, 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 kip. Oh, that's an awesome thing to happen during this moment. Lots of birds around me right now singing. So as I was saying, the creeks dried up below the dams and uh, this caused a lot of damage to just the natural progression of these creeks. The riparian habitat dried up and died and this destabilized the creeks um, and that allowed when water did flow over the dams in, in high flow years uh, for that vegetation to be ripped out and clogged channels and all sorts of damage. Um, now with the Mono Lake Committee involved uh, in, the, in the late 70s, the Mono Lake Committee arrived to the Mono Basin or David Gaines arrived and formed the Mono Lake Committee to protect Mono Lake and to restore these streams. Um, and after a long court battle, as I'm sure you know about in 1994, the State Water Resources Control Board mandated that DWP reduce their diversions and increase the level of the lake and constantly maintain water in the streams. So DWP used to divert about 87,000 acre feet per year from the Mono Basin. Now one acre foot, if you imagine a football field filled one foot deep with water, 
That amount of water is an acre foot. It's about 326,000 gallons or enough water for a family of four for a year. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so that's a lot of water. And now with new agreements, Los Angeles takes uh, 16,000 acre feet this year. If the lake drops below a certain threshold, they take even less, about 4,500 acre feet. And if it were to drop even lower, they wouldn't take any water at all. But right now the lake is on the rise. And so Los Angeles is able to take 16,000 acre feet from the creeks and levining. So you'll see behind me the pond that forms above the diversion, but we're gonna walk over and look down into where this diversion comes through. Now, when the diversions first happened, when these dams were first built, this was just a concrete dam across the creek and all the water possible was put into the aqueduct. And when the aqueduct couldn't fit any more water, the water would flow over the dam. But now there's what's called a Langeman gate. And this gate allows for the city of Los Angeles to control how much water's coming through, but it also can control how much sediment is coming through, which is really important for the downstream system. So you can see there's a lot of infrastructure here, a lot of movement needed. There's certain accommodations for fish. There's just beautiful uh, creek flowing, lush riparian, riparian habitat below us. And you can really see the water flowing through this Langeman Gate, through this dam. And like I said, this can be raised and lowered to uh, accommodate the right amount of water that should be flowing down the creek for, uh, for Mono Lake. This is a pretty amazing spot to be standing, like I said, at mile zero of the aqueduct. We have swallows flying around. There's a pair of American dippers that actually nest in the aqueduct. So this structure right here is where the water is flowing from the pond into the aqueduct, which at this point is a tunnel that takes you to those other creeks, like I mentioned. But there's an American dipper that's, that has a nest inside that aqueduct and it sings and it just echoes out of, of this aqueduct tunnel. That's pretty amazing to behold. You can also see fish swimming around in the pond here above the dam. And it's just a beautiful place to be in this very interesting story of the Los Angeles aqueduct. This water flows down to Los Angeles comes out of the tap there, pristine mountain water, snow melt coming down from those mountains. Thank you so much for joining me today on this Mono Lake moment, and I'll see you next week.